Air guns roasting on a propane fire. <laughs> Y'all, it's Scott Slowpoke Air Gunner. I'm doing a paint job today. I got me. This is going to be my Air Venturi. As you can see, the plastic on it. I'll get down close here. The plastic on it, all plastic has a coating. You have to sand that off. And it helps scratch it up as well. I'll take mine off because I want to make these areas black on mine. Uh, I'm going to hang it up and I'm going to do these with a khaki. This here's a bipod that I got. Uh, if you're on Instagram, you've seen it. Um, little Chinese bipod. And I'm going to paint it black. So, I'm going to... This is going to be matte black and this is going to be camo. And then these areas that are taped off, I'm going to come back and paint these black. All right, now what I've done here, as you can see, I put a base coat. And this base coat was the lightest color. I started with the lightest color, color and go darker. The base coat was camo sand. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the khaki here, which is a little bit darker. It's a shade darker. And now I'll take this, uh, I don't know what color they call this, flat brown. And then this here is a dark earth brown, or an earth brown. And what I'm going to try to do is these sponges here, if I can get, I'll put it on plastic. This here is uh, slick enough. And then can dip it in it and try to lay it flat so those holes will come out. You know, this side or any side that's got the most holes. And I broke the sponges up so I can get different sizes and different pieces. And first I'll go over and I'll sponge it with uh, the lightest color, mid color, and darkest color. And then once I peel all this off, I'll do all this in flat black. And then once I'm completely finished, I'll put a uh, matte clear coat on it. <laughs> 